Hey, I'm Brett Mays, General Manager here at Full Race Motorsports. We've been building manifolds and go-fast parts for over a decade. We specialize in import, but lately we've been getting into the Ford EcoBoost product. I want you guys to come on in and see what we do. We get to what is probably one of the most difficult portions, which is setting up and tacking one of these manifolds. And what Jay's doing here is you can see two of the runners he's already put together and tacked and he's putting another one there. He's starting to build that third runner, and then he'll build the fourth runner. It's kind of strange, but it's really the only way he can move quickly instead of having a helmet and flipping the top down, flipping the top back up, is to go ahead and just get that thing going, and then he'll turn his head, shield it, and give it a little flip. Otherwise, that, that process takes a lot longer. That's an art in itself right there. These will all travel over to here. He's getting one set up on this robot right now, so he's back purging it with the Argon. He'll do one rotation to make sure he's on it, make adjustments if need be. It looks like it's set. So you can see the welder pulsing, and then it'll rotate. So when the robot's done, you see it makes one full rotation, and then it just finishes. You can tell where it's just overlap, finishes. And with the Argon, we get perfect penetration each time. There's an example of what we were talking about earlier. So what he's doing is making sure that everything's on there good, everything fits and then it'll head off to a finish welder that welded the rest of this. He'll get it on. This is a very tedious portion of our process. This is what, this is the most labor intensive is actually getting these things correct. If you don't get them correct, especially if it's a teardrop style, you end up with a lot of boost creep. You end up with situations you can't get out of just out of design. You can't tune around, you can't do anything about it. So we're very particular about how we do our wastegates on these manifolds. Perfect example right there. And we'll head down here to a finish welder. We have four finish welders in the shop. We have two of them that'll do aluminum, one that does both aluminum and thin wall and thick wall, the pipe, and then two guys that do nothing but the thick wall. Once it's out of there, they come over here. Subaru is an example. This one's just got completed with the finish welds, and then it's waiting to be ported. So all of this welding in here is well be smoothed out, and they'll do the porting. Because of the boxer design layout of the Subarus, by the time you have the manifold and then the up pipe, if you're off a few degrees here, it turns into a lot by the time you get up top. Because of that, and because we build every single one of these by hand, this is our jig, an actual Subaru. So we cut it down, clipped it so we could use it for any intercooler, manifold, exhaust, we have it all jigged out. So we'll actually fit each manifold on this motor, bring it up, know exactly where the turbo is supposed to sit, run the downpipe down, know where it's supposed to end on which particular model, and we get a fit. So we brought the entire car in, motor, everything we need so we can run this down, get the clearance on the pipes, and know that it fits their car. But this, is, this has actually been a life saver. We brought this in several years ago, and it's helped quite a bit. Here's an adapter we use, depending on the model year. So you can see that says 0407. Put it on. So it's, it's worked really well. That pretty much concludes what we do here, at least that that I could show you. If you want to know more about us, go to our website, full-race.com, or Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Check us out. Thanks for stopping by.